Hello watch lovers around the world, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. On today's episode, we'll be looking into the age old question that has plagued watch lovers since the dawn of time. Can a reverser and a tank coexist in the same collection? Before we get into it, let's have a quick wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the IWC Portuguesa Chronograph. So in order to answer such a difficult question, we need to delve deeper into these two beautiful watches. For today's comparison, we have the Louis Cartier tank in rose gold and the Reverso Duo Face in medium size. As you can see, I got my Cartier watch box hot stamped with my initials. This is a free service that Cartier offers, so I highly recommend you make use of it. It's a nice touch to personalize the watch box. Looking at these two timepieces side by side, we can see the similarities in terms of case shape. They also both have dress watch qualities. Both small and thin case profiles with exquisite finishing throughout the dial. However, in my opinion, I believe the similarities end there. Let's firstly look at the Reverso. I'm sure most of you are well versed with the origin story of the Reverso. So I'll give you a quick refresher. In the 1930s, British Army officers played polo during their leisure time. The sport consisted of powerful mullets and hard polo balls. Players who wore their watch during play found the crystal would either get damaged or destroyed completely. So they decided to approach a watch dealer to design a watch that could withstand the sport. In 1931, a watch was designed that could reverse its case 180 degrees from back to front protecting the crystal during play, and the Reverso was born. Now let's check out the Reverso's measurements. Its width is 25.4, lug to lug is 42.4, Lug width is 19 and thickness is 9.2 Now let's have a look at the Cartier tank. The tank was invented in 1917 and has since become the brand's most iconic model. The K-shaped design pays homage to the Renault FT17, which is a French tank which was used during the First World War. If you look at the tank from a bird's eye view, you will notice the case shape of the watch resembles the cockpit, and the outer lugs resemble the treads on the tank. The tank has since been worn by some of the most influential people around the world, such as Muhammad Ali, Andy Warhol and Princess Diana. Now let's check out the measurements for the Cartier tank. Thickness is 25.4 Lug to lug is 33.6 Lug width is also 19 And thickness is 6.7 So with the help of Mr. J, let's have a look at these two pieces side by side. As you can see, the Reverso wears slightly larger as its lug to lug length is longer. It is also slightly thicker. Whereas the tank is wider, the crown protrudes further out from the case compared to the Reverso, making it much more noticeable. While you're here, if you're enjoying my videos, 
please visit my Instagram account for more great content. Details listed below. Let's have some wrist shots so you can get a good idea of how both pieces look on the wrist. For reference, my wrist size is 16.5 centimeters. Two amazing watches in their own rights. What an extremely difficult task of picking between the two. But fear not, I will try my best and give you my opinion and advice on which is the best one for you. If you like both watches and you're having a hard time deciding which one to go for, here are my thoughts. If you have a watch collection size of around 4-6 to six watches, I believe that there would only be room for one. If you want a versatile piece, go for the Reverso. If you want one of the best dress watches around, go for the Tank. If your watch collection is 8 pieces plus, I believe you can fit both into your collection. They both offer different wearing experiences. So there you have it folks, that has been my in-depth comparison. I hope that has helped you in your purchasing decision. So what are your thoughts? Which one would you choose? Or would you choose both like me? Would love to hear your take in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next episode. Happy watch collecting.